and boy oh boy do I have a fun surprise for you today! Well, okay, it's probably not that much of a surprise because you probably read the title of this video so you probably know what's going to happen, but it's a surprise for me because I haven't tasted it yet. Today, we have seaweed bacon! Oh, my battery's running low already. Redo! Wakey wakey, vegan eggs and vegan bakey. So this is by the company Seymour, and it's called I See Bacon, Seaweed Bacon, that's so cute. And so what this is, it's 100% real, genuine seaweed, and apparently, if you fry it up, it tastes just like bacon. So I'm really curious to see, whoa, hello son, I am overexposed now. Be chill, son, you're very bright all of a sudden. So I am going to do a taste test of this today and see if it really tastes at all like bacon. If you guys know anything about me, you know that I love vegan bacons. If you've signed up for my blog, the first thing you'll get is an ebook of five vegan bacon recipes. Yes! So go sign up for that. And in my cookbook, I also have an additional two vegan bacon recipes. So make sure you pick up that as well. The love of vegan bacon is real. I love the salty, I love the fatty, I love the smoky flavors. And so if all of that can be had, in just a piece of seaweed. That's pretty exciting, I think. So I'm pretty excited to give this a try. So fancy, so seaweedy, so bacony, supposedly. Now, as far as I know, at the recording of this video, this seaweed bacon is not available in Canada. It is not available in the US. The only place it is available right now is in the UK. I contacted Seymour and begged them to send me some seaweed bacon because I really, really, really wanted to try it. So a big thank you to them, a big shout out to them, but this is not a sponsored post. This is just my 100% review, so hopefully it's good and I like it. So let's get tasting this delicious seaweed bacon. Or maybe it's delicious, maybe it's not, I don't know yet. I'm gonna open this sucker up. Oh, I'm definitely getting a big waft of the sea there. Okay, so yeah, it looks like seaweed. Just what you'd expect seaweed to look like, I think. There's a lot in here, so it seems like one bag would take you for a long haul. Okay, all sorts of tangly schmangly. I guess you just kind of tear some off and pop it in the oil. It definitely smells like seaweed. It reminds me of making sushi or something like that. I can't say that it smells at all smoky or bacony right now, but maybe it changes when you fry it up. So let's hop over to the stove and go and give it a try. All right, now while I'm heating up this oil, it says that you are supposed to fry the leaves in plenty of hot oil for 20 to 40 seconds per side. Don't let burn. Alternatively, you could stir the leaves through warm sauce. You could soak the leaves for 30 seconds to boost a salad or you could a munch on it like beef jerky, apparently, just raw from the package. I'm gonna try frying it first because the seaweed flavor is kind of throwing me off, and if that's good, I'll try, the, uh, I'll try it raw after that. Some of them are quite layered and thick and they have this kind of moldy looking stuff, but I think that's just naturally part of the seaweed. Okay, let's give this a fry. It is totally changing color from red to green. That's really cool. This goes so fast, I think you really have to do it one piece at a time. It's so cool how it turns it's from dark red to green like that. As it's frying, it doesn't really smell a crazy amount like bacon. It does smell warm and fried, but I wouldn't say that it's like strong bacon smell. I don't think someone will walk in here right now and say like, oh my God, you're cooking bacon, but you're vegan. Like, I don't think that's the case. Okay, look at this crazy color. Do you see this? This is the color it starts, this like crazy dark red, and then it, when you cook it, it changes to this brilliant green. So cool. Let's give it a taste test. So crispy. That is delicious. Super delicious. I love how crispy it is. It's not the same kind of crispy, chewy as bacon. Well, actually, let me try one of these thicker pieces. Maybe that would get the same crispy, chewy bit. Let's try this end here where it's thicker. Oh, 
awkward to eat. I'm definitely afraid that I'm gonna have green things in my teeth now. Texture wise, it's lovely and crispy. And the, and the kind of thicker, more layered pieces I thought might be uh, chewy, but they're actually crunchy and crispy. And so it's all quite crispy. So if you're looking for that texture, delicious for that. Not quite the same chew as uh, bacon though. The flavor does not taste like bacon. Womp womp. Sorry guys, it doesn't taste like bacon to me. It does taste delicious and toasty and warm and I think it's really yummy. I just wouldn't say that it screams bacon flavor to me. You know what I think it does taste like? Uh, Papadoms. Have you ever had those? You get them like in Indian restaurants, often it's like an appetizer or something. Love those things. These taste quite a bit like Papadoms. I think it's a really, it's really delicious, but it's not, I'm just not getting a huge screaming bacon vibe. I mean, because it is fried, it is a bit oily. Yeah, okay, and now that I'm tasting it further, it does have like a seaweed back note. So like, it's like a Papadom with seaweed. Does that make sense? Super delicious, but I wouldn't say that it's crazy bacon flavored. All right, I think I should taste it raw too, since they said you can eat it like beef jerky raw. Whoa, okay. Hey, hey, hey. Very hard. No. The, don't eat it raw. I do not like it raw. It tastes really strong of seaweed, and I love those like seaweed crisps that you get, those little nori salty things. Those are delicious, but this is like, you're licking the bottom of the ocean floor. It's too much for me. So my review of this is that uh, when fried, it's delicious. Don't eat it raw. It is really cool to try, and I think it's a really interesting concept, but it doesn't taste like bacon. Sorry. I hope you liked this video, and if you do, show me a little support by hitting that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that little bell beside the subscribe button so you can get a notification every time I post a new video, and I'll see you next time. Bon appetit! <laughs>